G'day. In this series of videos, we are combining our PsychoPy and Python programming with Arduino and microcontrollers because what we want to do is learn how to um, get access to the low-level hardware. In our case, the hardware is going to be a couple of uh, ultra-bright LED lights because we want to use Python and PsychoPy to turn on and off lights via software. In our case, um, our experiment is we want to change the illumination of our experimental arena and look at the behaviours of the mouse in this um, in our experiments so uh, in the first couple of videos we've, we went through the software that you need and uh, we then wrote a couple of very simple Arduino programs to turn on and off the LED lights if you haven't seen those videos um, stop this one head back it's only a couple of videos ago and then come bring yourself up to speed and then we can get cracking on with this program the next step what we've been able to do up until now is to um, write um, a, an Arduino program called a sketch, an Arduino program, um, upload that onto the microcontroller chip here, the Atmel chip, and what we were able to do was to turn on and off some LED lights. And the LED lights were digital pins and we set the digital pins high and low and that turned on and off the LEDs. Now that code was deployed onto the chip, uploaded onto the chip, and it just ran on its own with no in interference from us at all. So any time that power was applied via the USB or via the barrel jack to the Arduino, it would send those pins high and low and do its thing. Okay. Uh, also, just quickly, in the previous video, I went through what this bit of equipment is. These are ultra bright LED lights that require more power than what the Arduino can supply. And so therefore I've written, uh, I've made a, a electronic circuit which is basically able to deal with slightly higher currents and voltages to get these ultra bright LEDs working. Again, if you haven't seen it, watch the previous video. Anyway, what we want to do now is to, to upload code onto the microcontroller and we want the microcontroller to wait and to listen out essentially for a command to arrive from our PsychoPy and Python code. The way that we're going to do that communication is via the serial line, via a serial line, using the same port as what we use to program the Arduino. It's a bit complicated, but we'll get we'll get through it and we'll get into it in these this next bit of the video. So what we should do is start with a blank and fresh new sketch. Okay, I'm doing a lot of pointing with my finger and you can't see that. So here is a fresh sketch. Um, and what we want to do right at the start is we'll declare some variables. And so the first variable that we're going to declare is um, the pin number for the right LED. So we're going to say it's a constant, it's never going to change, it's an integer, and we're going to call it right, uh, right LED equals uh, pin 12. Okay. Now the other thing that we want to declare is another variable where we're going to be receiving information in from the serial line. Okay. And so that bit of information, the last bit, we then want to put into a variable, into a container, because then we want to look at it and go, what is Python telling us to do? Or what are we telling ourselves to do? Okay. So the next one is going to be, um, again, it's just going to be a simple integer and we'll call this something like pi byte. Okay. So it's, it's not any constant value or anything. It could take any value, but it's going to be an integer type. So that's done. So that's going to uh, happen right at the start. And then the first thing that we want to do in the void setup, remember the setup is the, where we initialize things, is we want to start the serial communication. We want to begin serial communication. So that's what we do, serial.begin, okay? And in these parentheses, we need to give it the rate because we could send information quickly or we could send information slowly. If you're using slightly older equipment, you might be limited to the, to the frequency at which you can get that information through the serial line. Okay. And so a common value is 9600 board. So that's B-A-U-D, named after some French bloke. Sort of Jean-Yves Border, Antoine Board not French bloke, <laughs> who came up with this idea. So anyway, so I think it's, you know, um, the rate of information transfer through that serial line. I think it's symbols per second or things per second. So a very common value is 9,600. Um, Arduinos and serial communication can go up to, you know, hundreds of thousands. We're just going to run at 9,600. Okay. 
So that's the first thing. We'll get rid of this French bloke thing. So that's the first thing. We want to start serial communication, initialize that. The second thing that we need to do is to declare the pin mode. So pin mode and the right LED. So this is like what we did in the previous videos. Uh, it's going to be an output. Okay. Ah, oh, remember your semicolons, guys and girls. Right. So we've now set up the pin mode. Good. So once we've set things up, we then move to our loop. And in our loop, we want to basically say, okay, if there is data present or available on the serial line, uh, we then want the Arduino to do something. If there's nothing there, we just want to skip over. So it just Arduino will just look at the serial line and go, oh, nothing's there, and then it will just look at it again, nothing's there. And if it looks at it, and if there's something there, it's going to go, okay, let's now read what it is, okay, read what's available, and then we'll put that into the pi byte variable. So the first thing we need to do is say, okay, if uh, serial, dot available available okay is greater than zero okay uh, we then want to say okay pi byte which is the variable that we've declared up here is going to now be whatever we read the latest bit of information that's read off the serial line so serial dot read okay and so now we've read that last bit of information, it's in that pi byte. And so now we have to look at what it is in that pi byte variable to decide what we're going to do in the Arduino, in the microcontroller. So now we need some more control statements. So if pi byte equals. So now what we want to do is think about what exactly we're after, and that is we want to turn the LED on. We want to set the pin, the digital pin, high. So if pi byte, so I need to put the underscore there, so if pi byte equals, say, h, h for high, okay, if pi byte is high, we then want to do digital right, uh, the right LED, we want to send that high, okay? But if uh, pi byte okay, equals L for low, if it's low, we'll then send digital right. The right L LED will send low. Okay, and so basically it's going to listen. If serial is available, we'll then read the last bit of information that's come in on the serial line. And then we look at it. If it's a H, we'll send that right LED high, so the light should turn on, and it should stay on forever until we send it an L command, a low command. Now, if you wanted this light to stay on for a second, you'll then put delay, you know, something like that, and then a digital right, uh, right LED low. Okay, so you can put some more complicated uh, control statements and timing statements in that if, if loop. We don't want to do that, we just want to turn it on forever and ever and ever and ever, until we turn it off. Okay, so let's see if we've made any mistakes. That's it, that's all we need to do. We'll verify, have I missed any semicolons? No, uh, it's done compiling, it's using 5% of the program storage space. So here we go, we'll upload it onto our uh, Arduino. So it's done uploading, no errors, and you'll see nothing's happening here. Okay, you can see that there. Nothing's happening because we haven't set any information via the serial line. And that's going to be coming from our Python code. So, let's do that. Let's, let's send some information. Let's start the Python side of things. So what I need to do over here is I need to send myself down here. Okay, I'll make myself a bit smaller. And then I think this should be nice and clear. If I send that up like that, you should see that. Everything should be clear. Right, so this is a Mac uh, Mac machine, so I'm opening, I've opened terminal. If you're using uh, Windows, then you would open a command prompt session. And what we want to do in our Python, on our OS X, is we'll use Python 3. Okay, so there we go. So hopefully you've got that installed. In the previous videos, we go through installing our, the requirement for Python 3. What we need to do is get um, access to the serial library. So if you go import serial, uh, lowercase serial, okay, uh, it should 
basically give you no errors. If you have something like um, error exception module not found, so you haven't got access to the serial library, what you can do is, um, oh, sorry, spelled exit wrong. <laughs> and again, right, exit. You can do something like uh, pip3 install. It's called pi serial, okay? Um, I've already installed it, so I don't need to do that. So make sure you've got access to serial. The the uh, package is called pi serial. So we'll run back into Python, Python 3. Good, so we'll import serial. Are you serial? Yes. Right. So what we need to do now is to start the communication or start the serial session from Python's point of view now. So the way that we do that is we typical nomenclature is to say ser uh, equals serial dot capital S serial. Okay, and then we need to basically pass it three arguments in here. The first argument is in uh, brackets, sorry, in uh, quotation marks, is the uh, port name. The second one is going to be the board rate. Remember, this is the board rate that we set up. So it's listening out at 9600. So we have to send information at the same rate. So we'll make that 9600. And the third one that we're going to send is a time. This, the third um, parameter is a timeout. So it's basically going to wait for one second. It's going to try to establish communication for one second. If it can't do that, it will then break out of that process and return control back to the user or to the next part of your code. So this way, if it's not working, you don't think it's working because you know it hasn't returned control back. So this is just a sort of a cover your ass statement, cover your ass parameter. So what port do we put in there? So remember, if this was a Windows machine, it would be something like COM3 or COM4, that's all you need. Okay, so make sure you know what uh, port that your Arduino is talking to. We did that right and I think the second video, window, uh, we go to our Arduino, we go to tools and you see port and it's got it's forward slash dev forward slash CU USB modem 5D11. So I need to put in just this bit here from the uh, quotation marks, the forward slash to the, the second one of the 11. Okay, so I will put forward slash dev forward slash cu dot usb modem 5d11 okay that's the port that's the board rate and we're going to give it a one second timeout so if you've done this correctly it should come with no errors we have established serial communication on that port at that rate so what we want to do now is we want to write a command so write a byte of information onto that serial line which is being listened to by the Arduino. So what we can do is we can go SERS, because remember this is what we've called the, the line, so the communication is on SER. So SER.write, it's as simple as that, we want to write a byte of information, so B, we want to write it a H, because remember over here we want to send it, if it's H, we're expecting this right LED to go high. So let's see if it does. There we go, we've just turned it on, okay. So let's think about how we would set that low. We want to turn this LED off. So how do we do that? Well, if pi byte is L, low. So let's try that. Sir dot write, it's a byte of information. We'll send it low. Pay close attention to what we've got in this right here, okay? B, sorry, not two CB. So B is for byte, and then we want to send it L. Ah, get out, okay? A capital L. So if we send it, we've then turned it off. How cool is that? We have now established Python and PsychoPy basically. We've now established the ability to communicate between software and an LED with hardware via the Arduino microcontroller via the serial port at a rate that we've set. Okay. Just quickly, we'll write this high again. So serial write, byte of information, set it high. Okay, so now that's on. You can could, you could see that, you definitely see that. What we're going to do is we're going to reset the Arduino. Okay, so there's the button there, reset the Arduino. So it's resetting, da 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 da. It's now reset. And you'll notice that you see how it hasn't saved the state of the uh, LED. Okay, it hasn't gone back to turning on. Why is that? Because when we hit reset, it's like we've 
come out of this void loop and we're starting from the top of our sketch again and so it's it's establishing pin 12 as the right led it's creating a variable it's starting serial line and it's pin mode is output okay but basically there's nothing on that serial line because we haven't sent it any commands via python okay so just be careful if you reset the arduino it's not going to remember the previous state or the previous information on that serial line we're going to have to set it high again for us to turn it on okay so there we go we've just turned it on sir dot we can do something like sir dot flush we can flush the serial communication or something like that i think flush is a little bit outdated now but we'll go through that in the next uh couple of videos okay so we'll write this low again right there we go that's it that is the basics of python serial communication with arduino we'll keep this video nice and short hopefully i will exit out of that and i'll see you in the next video we'll leave it here all right good luck